Hello, greetings world. Uh, welcome to another Zabbix video. In this video, I will talk about uh, Zabbix API and how to automatically generate a host level graph, which can uh, possibly show uh, similar metrics, what are concurrent hosts uh, thinking about same metric. Uh, I want to start to this video uh, with addressing this uh, great functionality which is already built in uh, in starting from Zabbix 5.0 uh, we have this section monitoring hosts and we have this uh, nice column graphs and what's special about this column is um, they come from the template and you don't need to do any extra work to generate them and here if for example if, if i click here uh, 13 graphs uh, i i can explore this particular host object and uh, in case i i want to like zoom in i i, I see some spike I, I zoom in and then i can like with the mouse um, scrolling wheel i can scroll scroll up scroll down to see like what is the correlation with other metrics uh, so this is like zero work. It comes pretty much out from the box. And I was thinking like, what um, can we have more tools to to give more automated graphs without any extra work? And uh, yeah, I, I came up with this solution, which will practically look for similar item keys on all of the hosts you have in the instance so practically this is suitable for small home installation with 20 hosts or uh, lower and then you can like immediately correlate the memory cpu disk utilization for all 20 hosts together uh, like without any extra work uh, so i have this template uh, let's have a look uh, which is uh, this template will use Zabbix official API and it's it starts with the HTTP agent item. Uh, it's it, this uh, like professionally we should use script item, but uh, I'm using HTTP agent item to have backwards compatibility with Zabbix 5.0. Uh, so that was my priority. And that's the reason why I start with HTTP item. And then I uh, we, we like initiate the first API call to fetch absolutely all the items we have in the instance. And magic happens like in the pre-processing uh, section when we like merge together the item list with the host list to have like extra filtering ready, like which hosts are enabled or disabled. Uh, that's the reason why we are conducting um, more API calls. And maybe you did not know like uh, that uh, in the pre-processing step, we can use JavaScript pre-processing to engage more with Zabbix API. It's absolutely the same technology as uh, the official webhooks are using. So I can use this JavaScript step to have more API calls and that's what happens here like we are engaging with the official Zabbix API and running like extra methods host get uh, graph get and, and so on uh, so uh, what technically interesting to know is like each step is limited to 10 seconds so it's your responsibility to uh, find a scenario find API call which can fit in 10 seconds time budget yeah, and at the end of the day, like we have a merged item list, um, items together with the hosts, uh, like we, you, saw, you see the item uh, key and also host name. And then uh, a very interesting, not interesting, but like a very mandatory uh, step here. Like I want to filter out all the units, like some uh, items are measured like uptime, uh, bytes or bits per second. Those are called units. And I, I have like here an extra dependent item which will filter out absolutely all units your instance is possibly using. Um, yeah, and uh, this will be the first input for the LLD rule. The LLD rule will pick up all those units and uh, will start kind of like to generate uh, like a JSON uh, list. Uh, what are those items which are uh, which which we can group into the categories uh, to uh, automate this generation of the graph. Uh, so this is like very important step to detect all the units. Uh, 
and uh, the discovery how it looks like uh, so we have this rule in place and then item prototype uh, we will have like individual item for every unit type like uptime seconds uh, uh, bytes uh, watts uh, rpm and then the, the 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 magic happens in this uh, in this dependent item like another dependent item will uh, invoke Zabbix uh, API and will actually create the graph. Like it's, it works quite magical. <laughs> Here, the pre-processing step again, like it's dependent item, but it will reach out to the API and again, uh, API. And then we have, uh, I, I have made like a color palette. Like I want to generate random lines. And for that, I have the coral, color pan palette and uh, the choice of the color will be based on the host ID. Uh, it's like the classical formula about the uh, like remaining when we take host ID and divide by amount of colors. Let's say we have 24 colors in the budget and we take the remaining and that will be the index which type of color we will choose for the line. Uh, so practically all those graphs, uh, you will always have host title with the same color of the line, like always in all, all of the graphs. Uh, so the magic happens here, uh, create a graph and it will use all those item IDs for the input and create the graph. Let's see how it look, uh, how, how it works. So, uh, so this is the template I will have also in the description of the video. And um, I have this, um, like a host object a dude, uh, which is like a object which will work with the API. Uh, this time I, I made it already here. Um, I, I will just show again. Uh, I, I have, it, it already generated all the possibilities, but just for the sake of the test uh, simulation. Uh, so we select this item, execute now. And a few seconds later, uh, it will discover all those um, like possibilities. What are those groups by units? And in the latest data page now, when we put like dude, uh, that's my host title, latest data. And now uh, I have these items like units, bytes, units, percentage. And this is like a, a little bit like what happens underneath the hood. Uh, if we open one of these items, we can see like some grouping type of mechanism. Uh, we have like uh, the item key idle, CPU idle, and uh, we have uh, like members in the uh, pool, like which host, uh, host ID and host item ID is actually having this um, like type of key. So it's, this is input for the API. Um, yeah, so I think everything is almost ready here for the demonstration. Uh, what else I want to say? Um, here, the detect units, the, the LLD rule, like how many units I possibly have right now in the installation. Uh, and actually, like units are mandatory for the graphs to generate. If you are like uh, self-developing the template, if you forgot to put the units, then it will not generate the graph for, for th those uh, hosts. Let's have a look. Maybe I have something already. Um, and one good way to look is if I go to the host, click reset button, and if um, we open any like uh, random host here, graphs. I have now this graph, autograph. I, I, I named the graph, it, it, it will start with the name autograph. Uh, and every time we re-execute that HTTP agent item, it will also erase those graphs to start from scratch. Since this was like some sort of proof of concept project, I, I have this idea in mind. I, I wanted to see how it looks like. Uh, so right now, while I'm publishing this template, this is how it works. Uh, like it deletes everything with uh, every graph, which is named auto graph, and then starts from scratch and creating those graphs. So now like if I select uh, CPU item system, so it's a host level item and that magical template, what it did, it uh, aggregated these uh, items from other peers, from other hosts. And I can see 
here under the preview tab like all the picture I have like some some a little bit more than 10 hosts in my instance and now like this is the 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 the, the, the graph which was aggregated uh, so it, it uh, now when we see the same picture uh, as at the beginning uh, if we explore like all the graphs uh, it was uh, 13 at the beginning but now it's 40 so I see all the host graphs and in the same time I will see the peers uh, like uh, I can auto automatically compare how this like boot time or some uh, CPU utilization metric how it looks while comparing to the other objects. Um, so, so, so here we can understand like if you have hundreds of objects most likely it's, it's not a good fit uh, but like for a small home installation it's interesting experiment. Okay, um, that is almost it. Like, uh, if you test this and you want to get rid of uh, this solution, uh, how to do is you can open the template. There is actually range uh, in the macro, so uh, the graph will be generated only if we are uh, if the it if the amount of items is between one and seventeen. Uh, so uh, if it's having 20 items, it will not generate. Uh, so it's an easy trick if you don't like this solution at all. You just mathematically set the uh, invalid range. Like uh, tell me, like uh, give me graphs for the amount which is less than 17 and more than 111. So this is this range is impossible if you click update and we reload the configuration cache here uh, Zabbix server uh, click um, reload the configuration cache and if we execute that thing again like a dude it will now uh, remove that um, everything it, 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 it degenerates so far execute uh, if I click again the uh, monitoring hosts so these 40 graphs should should shrink down after five seconds let's click apply click and it's back to the 13 uh, because that range is invalid all right that's it for this video if you find it interesting helpful uh, entertaining uh, give it a thumbs up uh, it I was thinking to call this video like API gym <laughs> because it's like a very great uh, material to learn how to use JavaScript uh, with official Zabbix API. Like uh, JavaScript is native language for the Zabbix. Uh, so I think it's the best language uh, because it's like absolutely independent. You don't need to install Python or, or, or some Ruby bash. It's like native language and yeah, it's uh, even if you don't like this solution, uh, the template is quite a good start to start to understand how to engage with Zabbix API. Uh, so um, have a look if you are interested. All right, uh, bye for now.